Yesterday, I was uh, experiencing some really odd behavior of uh, the Mavic Mini when I was testing out the new Waypoint missions from uh, uh, Ligi that has been added to the Ligi beta app. It was kind of uh, weird. It was like uh, the drone didn't have enough uh, power. And also, uh, when I was executing one of the trial missions uh, before I recorded the video, it was actually being pushed away from the mission and I had a very hard time getting it back. And uh, yesterday it was quite windy, so I thought maybe that could be the reason. Um, so I thought I would repeat the test today uh, under more uh, calm conditions. It's actually not very windy today, as you can see on this flag. So, let, so let's get airborne and uh, test this out and see if we can provoke any of the errors that I saw yesterday. Like maximum speed warning or ESC error. Some of you have wrote to me that it might be related to uh, the props being bent or something when they are stored inside uh, the, the fly more case. And uh, yeah, that is a likely possibility. I don't know. But just by inspecting the props, they look pretty okay to me. So this is pretty odd. So let's get this airborne and test out and see if we can provoke uh, the errors here again. Welcome to another video. I'm Henry Olsen and if you want to learn how to uh, make better videos with your camera and drone and almost lose your Mavic Mini, then um, consider subscribing to my weekly tips test and tutorials. So I just uh, thought I would take it out here this morning. Just for a, a small test flight with the GGI Fly app. Let's just check the version of this app. It's 142, so it's the latest and greatest. So, strong wind warnings. It's not even more windier than a <laughs> cow can fart. <laughs> so, I can't really determine if it's uh, because of the state of uh, the um, Litchi app, which is in beta, that did this, but I saw all sorts of errors. Uh, like uh, max speed warnings. So I'm just thinking that I could fly around here a little bit just to see. See, I haven't been flying this drone for such a long time, so. But right now it's flying. Okay. Apart from the wind warnings, which I'm kind of used to. So over here back here, you have the new hospital, the new super hospital. Kranken house that they are building. This is an enormous project. So every time you get these strong wind warnings and if you get into problems, then uh, you need to, oh, now there's a, we should do that. We should definitely do that. Now there's a, I think this truck will start to approach us at some point. See so we can do like a nice see so we still have strong wind warnings even though I'm only 14 meters above. But this is a nice trick. You need to follow the car. Nice full speed. Ah, <laughs> it's driving faster than I can fly sideways. <laughs> this is a brilliant place to uh, exercise this. And right now we're in P mode. Maybe we should just switch it into sport mode and see what do we, if that could provoke the error. And we are mo mainly flying over dry land out here, so there shouldn't be that much problems. In case we should lose it, I should be able to retrieve it. Ah, <laughs> some pretty nasty water holes down there. So let's just. Kind of. <laughs> Maybe it's just me that has forgotten how 
this uh, Wi-Fi drone is flying. But it's definitely different than flying an AquaSync drone, and I can't see why DJI decided to. It's actually having problems fighting the wind. Let's see if we can do one more here. It's not very powerful fighting the wind. That's for sure. See, even now. I'm struggling to get it back. There's something seriously wrong with this drone, I think. This can't be right. I'm flying full throttle forward in sport mode. Close to the ground like this. It's being pulled backwards. Oh, what the is going on? I think we better land this one. It's not. I can't really tell what's going on here. This is really, really odd. Just landed here. I'm pretty sure I can retrieve it. It's not windy here at all. Of course, the wind is blowing a little bit. Maybe you can't hear it with the wind muff. Okay, that was a way more interesting flight than uh, what I had anticipated. So even though I was flying in sport mode, I could not get the drone back. And uh, my normal uh, tactic when I run into this and I get strong wind warnings, which I really don't know why I'm getting because it's not that windy, is to lower the altitude of the drone and fly close to the ground. And as you can see in the footage, I'm flying no more than maybe one or two meters above the ground and I still couldn't even in sport mode make it fly back to me. And I actually ended up landing it like 20 meters from here just to be safe and not to damage the drone in a place where I could safely retrieve it. So I don't know what's going on with this drone. Maybe you have an idea what, uh, what is uh, happening, but it's pretty odd. And uh, I swear swapped the battery from yesterday uh, so it's not that. It's not uh, something with the battery not being able to deliver enough power. So, uh, and the props are unharmed. They are a little bit flimsy on the Model 1, but they are unharmed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this drone. It's definitely not in the shape that it uh, should be. So I will probably need to take a talk with DJI about this to figure out what is going on. In case you're interested in experimenting with the waypoints, uh, I made a video about that where I tried out a simple mission to show you how it works. And uh, you need to uh, get the Litchi beta app to be able to do that. And in case you're interested in uh, checking that out, I made a video about this and you can access this through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.